Hey guys, welcome back to today. We're at the auctions again, Copart, and we actually won two vehicles this time two Volkswagen Jettas. One is a 2006 diesel, and the other one is a 2009 gas. Stay with us to see what we got. If we got a good deal, we'll tell you how much we paid for those things. I think it's dirty cheap for what we paid for them. One of them is even clean title. Alright, first thing, guys, we're in the middle of nowhere, so there is no way to get any air for the door. So we're gonna do the old school way, make some a little bit of muscles. Who needs to go to the gym when you can do that for triceps? Okay, guys, I think the jet is coming now. Okay, this is the one that's a gas. This one is a 2009 model. As you can see right there, that's how they bring them on the forklift. As you know, we post the videos, what we got, what we get at the auctions. One thing about you guys, we don't know if it runs and drives, so stay with us to see what we got, what we're gonna find inside of it and what it's gonna take to make that thing to drive again. That's what it is, we still cannot open the hood, the latch is messed up when it got hit, but inside looks pretty good, it's a little dirty just for vacuum, but Everything else is good. There is no airbag depot. It has 118,000 miles. So stay with us to see what we're gonna what we're gonna get and how we're going to fix it and make it run. And now we're waiting on the diesel to see in what condition the diesel is. This one even has the heated seats. Alright, okay, guys, we op we opened the hood now, and there is a little bit of damage to the upper radiator support here. But we're gonna attempt to start it now. Okay, let's see if it's going to start and what it sounds like now. <laughs> okay, guys, that thing fired right up. And it still has coolant in the reservoir, it's full. It didn't crack the radiators, it just took them out of the upper radiator support. Coming up. Radio works, guys. Okay, only the light for the. As you can see now, for the lights, because the lights don't work 100 and. 18,000 miles. Okay, right there. And let's see if there is something inside. Well, mom found something. Yeah. <laughs> she asked if it looks good, guys. What do you think? And nothing else in this one. We didn't get so lucky to find things inside of it. Tell with us to see what the diesel looks like now, guys. It's coming this way. Okay, right there, that's the diesel. And we're actually gonna drive the diesel home. Let's see how good it is. Alright okay, guys, that's the diesel, the TDI power. Let's see what this one looks like now inside. If it has battery or we have to jump start that thing. Okay, let's see what the deal is now. Okay, it's warming up. Okay, okay we'll need to jump start it. <laughs> That's inside the trunk, guys. I guess some parts of the grill, whatever the guys. No idea what that thing is, guys. But oh, that's for the top, I think. A rail, Yakima yeah, rail for the top. We have the jump starter now, as you can see, and now we're going to attempt to start it and see if it's going to run and if we can make it home with that thing because we're about seven hours away from home guys okay it fired right up let me see if we have any warning lights nothing nothing bad so far not bad at all it has almost half gas half tank of gas and let's see what the damage will be power steering works there is no leaks the radiator is good the stereo is Definitely the buttons need to be replaced as you can see and somehow we need to turn it on. Yes, we got it ready, we got it ready for the road, we just zip tied the headlights and put the grill that was in the bed. As you can see, not as bad as it was. We'll make it home, we think, we hope so. 